Is your Quest 2 about to slow right down? An upcoming update, which definitely isn't the best update ever, could make that happen. In this video, we'll take a closer look at it, as well as show you how to stop it until we know how quest breaking it will actually be. Hello and welcome back to the VRC for your VR news reviews and entertainment. If that's your thing, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. It is free and you can unsubscribe as soon as you get bored of me. So what's going on? Is the clickbaity title just clickbait or does the video content warrant it? Feel free to let me know in the comments. So a Tech Radar article popped up on my phone that said that the next update was going to force the 120 hertz feature on our Quest 2s, which could possibly break it. But what does this 120 hertz mean exactly? Well, first, HZ, or hertz, is basically how many still images we are shown by the Quest every second. Hertz is known as frequency, which means how often. Bit of English and physics there for you. You may know that when we watch a moving image on TV, gaming screen, or indeed in our VR headsets, it's actually a series of still images that gradually change, giving us the impression that things are moving, just like when we see them in real life. The more images shown, the better. If you're a gamer, you may know that 60 frames per second is much nicer than 30 frames per second. In VR though, 60 frames per second isn't that great. The Quest 2 launched with 72 hertz, 72 frames per second, which was okay and fine for a lot of people, but some people could tell it was a bit juddery, and even if they couldn't, their brains could, and it would cause VR motion sickness and prevent people from being in VR for too long. It had an experimental 90 hertz, which was much better and eventually became fixed and the norm, but still, some people wanted more. For a while, 120 hertz has been an experimental feature that you could switch on from the settings inside the Quest 2 headset, making everything nice and smooth and helping prevent motion sickness. Well, an upcoming or maybe even the next update is going to remove the option of 120 hertz, but keep it on permanently. But surely that's a good thing. Well, not necessarily, because to flash up the extra 30 frames every second, the Quest 2 is going to have to work harder. This will mean either games will have to make sacrifices in other departments, like how much detail is on screen, or if they don't, the Quest 2 might actually start slowing down, overheating, and if it gets too bad, even crashing. The battery also won't last as long. Now, I'm sure the clever people at Meta wouldn't push this on us if they weren't confident that it would work. So, do we need to worry? Well, it's not like hardware and software is ever released without being fully tested, is it? So when this feature is enabled, will all games suddenly become 120 hertz? Well, no, because not all games support it. Some do support it. They include Cubism, Down the Rabbit Hole, Echo VR, Eleven Table Tennis, Gorilla Tag, Hyper Dash, Racket Fury, Rhythm and Bullets, Superheart VR, Synth Riders, and Jupiter Grad. Also, Virtual Desktop, Air Link, and Standard Cable Link support it too. So if a PC VR title can run at 120 hertz, then that will work as well. So what happens to all those other games that don't support it? Do they suddenly start adding repeated frames to get up to 120 hertz? Well, no, they just run as normal, which means the Quest 2 will act as normal and it isn't going to start crashing or getting hot or running down your batteries. Hopefully, it really shouldn't, but people do make mistakes and things can go wrong. But I'm 99% sure everything will be totally fine. The only way it could start crashing or overheating is if you are actually playing one of the 120 hertz titles I just mentioned for a really, really long time. So, who do I think should turn it off? Well, if one of those titles I mentioned is a game that you play often, but you do not have the 120 hertz enabled, and you're more than happy with how the game runs, then you might not want to use it. You might want to turn off the update, since even if it doesn't crash your Quest 2, it will still run a little hotter, and your batteries won't last quite as long. But you might also want to test out the 120 hertz yourself, before you make the decision to stop the update. So before we go over how to stop the update, here's how to enable 120 hertz temporarily. Press the Oculus button to call up the menu. Now go down here to go to quick settings. Click on settings cog, top right. Go to experimental at the bottom. 
and then you can look and see 120 hertz refresh rate if you want it on turn it on if you want to turn it off turn it off simple as that so now let's talk about how you stop the update well to do that you need to use the oculus app well mine's called oculus on your phone. You'll also need your Quest 2 turned on. Now, unfortunately, not everyone can actually turn it off because some Quests um, don't have the option to disable automatic updates. But if you do, you'll go into your Oculus app and then you choose the device, make sure your Quest is turned on, and then go to settings, advanced settings, and if you're lucky enough to have the option, there will be the option to turn off or turn on automatic updates. Unfortunately, if that option isn't there for you, then the only thing you can really do is just not click the update option that's in your headset. More on that later. There's probably another way to stop it using PC and ADB commands that can get a bit complicated, but you know, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in finding out how to do that and we can either find out how to do it or, you know, find some sort of tutorial or something like that. So again, if you don't have that option, just don't update past 43 for now. Now remember, if you do want an update and your Quest hasn't updated yet, then you can do this in your headset. Press the Oculus button to call up the menu. That's the flat one on the right. Go to settings, go to system, go to software update. It'll check for an update. And if one is available, you can update it now. And again, sometimes you won't have that option, especially if an update is really new. And if that's the case, then sometimes you just gotta try and leave your quest on or on standby as much as possible and it will do it in the background. Don't forget to be connected to Wi-Fi. By the way, I did click that update button that you saw on my screen and it was to the latest update, which as of today is 43, which is not the update that makes 120 Hertz permanent. So expect the 120 Hertz update in maybe update 44 or later. So there you go, best update ever. Well, that really depends. There might be some other features in the update that means it is, but that feature possibly isn't the best for you. What do you think about 120 Hertz? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you've got any other questions, like for example, you're really desperate to try and stop that update, please do ask. Until then, Turn off your Wi-Fi and don't click that button. So if you found that helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss fun videos that YouTube thinks that you won't like. Thank you for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time. See ya.